here at Roan. Man, December 1st. And man, it is coming in with ferocity. Check it out. Cold but beautiful day. Lovely. Right now what I'm doing is setting in a track. And this is gonna really help uh, for other people when they come up because they're gonna be able to not have to break trail. It'll be a lot more manageable as they go uphill. And then downhill, you can stay in the track to get speed or you can go off to the side to kind of slow down and slough off some of the speed you got. Alrighty, there you go. These patches in the road and people might wonder, well, why is there just bare spots after it's been snowing for all night? Well, that's mostly windblown areas. So it's in kind of a ravine or a gully where the wind has an effect on the surface. Um, that's all. So it's not because someone's driven or plowed it. It's just wind, bl wind blown snow. Here we are at the top, not the very top, but kind of at the top where the road starts to mellow out and flatten. Man, I'm just only up for about one lap today because it is cold. It's probably below zero with the wind chill. And just getting used to the skis again. Woohoo! Check out some of these little pillows in here. Really piling up. Hard to see probably on the, the contrast of the light. And to the, today to keep my speed up, I'm going double pull, single kick. I've got fish scales in the bottom of my skis and so I kind of can kick it like you'd Kind of kick on a scooter or a skateboard and then the aid of the poles really helps give you a little pr propulsion you can cruise it i don't know 10 12 miles an hour going downhill Hey, no problem. You having a good time? Well, yeah. Oh, awesome. A, oh, first one up. Only yeah. One up. Uh, yeah, I went up to the uh, where it kind of mellows out, flattens yeah. out up there. Yeah. Is it? Uh, is the snow holding up in the parking lots? Yeah, it seems good. like it for the most part. Good. Yeah. Good. Right. So, <laughs> nice. This will tell you how out of shape you are. <laughs> it you will. <laughs> yeah, a little higher altitude, and man, it's uh, yeah, it's a kicker. It, it'll work you, I guarantee you. <laughs> but uh, it's it's great. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah I was thinking. On a scale of one to ten, this snow is a twenty today. It's perfect. <laughs> it's so light and fluffy, it like is, it is unreal. And you, you can, never know. It's, it's super up here, and the road's been blown off. Or, I know, you know, I know, because that's kind of yeah. look. It's how it looked at the bottom, but yeah, yeah. And I'm the lot. Unless it's two feet deep, it always looks like that. Yeah, no doubt. And then a lot of times, hundred yards is water. Yeah. And you get up here, it's protected. So. Absolutely, by the trees. So, so. so I just passed that guy's tracks. And you can just already see how much faster it is. Because um, the tracks are kind of packing in. It just becomes a little more firm surface. And that's where you get some of the speed from. So, man, it just goes to show that two or three times up or down. And this turns into a really nice kind of cut for uh, everyone to enjoy. So there you go. There you have it. Back down at the bottom. Beautiful, breezy day. Cold. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Here at SoCo Gap, going for a little fat bike ride in the snow. Man, it's gonna be good. Just not enough.
lot of snow to ski on, but this is a great day for the old fat tires. All right. Going from SoCo Gap up to Water Rock Knob. Look at this corridor of ice. Holy smokes. Beauty. Man. Starting to spin out. It's deep. It's getting deep. On this wall. Guys, yeah, just wanted to show you. Bike hiking up to the top of Water Rock Knob. Trail right up here. 